Yes people, hope everyone's good. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to cook up a simple but fire UK drill beat in FL Studio. If you're new around here and you like this type of content, what are you guys doing, man? Come and join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well. And yo, if we can get this video to 50 likes, then I'm gonna be giving one copy of my blackout MIDI kit to one lucky commenter. So make sure you run that up and go smash that like button, man. But yeah, enough talking. Come and join me on my screen and let's get straight into the cook up. Damn severe, that's crazy. Welcome to the video. Like I say, we're going for a simple but fire UK drill beat today. I'm going to be showing you guys you don't need to have crazy melodic sounding melodies to make fire beats. It's going to be quite basic, but you know the vibes. It's going to be lit at the same time. We've cut up three melodies off camera. What we're going to do, I'm going to run through these melodies one by one and I'll show you what we're working with. For the first melody, we actually jumped into expand. We went over to the ethnic folder and we ended up using this preset. I've tried pronouncing this in a previous video and yeah, it's not happening. Dickhead. But like I say, we're going to keep the melody is fairly basic with this one for this beat i'm in 140 bpm and we're over in g sharp minor this is basically the pattern that we came up with For the second melody, we actually stayed in expand once again. However, this time we went to the mallet folder and we ended up using this marimba preset. Once again, it's a real simple pattern and this is what we came up with. And for the final melody, we actually went into Omnisphere and we ended up using this Love Triangle Bells preset. Once again, real simple pattern. This basically just follows the notes of the previous melody. So this is what we came up with for that. And now this is all three melodies that we came up with played together. It's sounding nice, we've kept it real simple, but you know the vibes, we're going to get straight into the drums. So first off, I'm going to grab a hi-hat. As always, straight into the MIDI kit, we're going to speed it up a little bit. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start layering in some percussion. So we're going to grab a few snares, a few perks, and we're just going to get the bounce going a little bit. So let's see what we can come up with. So we've got a nice little pattern on the go. I've added in a few main snares and we've actually got a few perks hitting in certain pockets of the beat as well. This just fills up the empty gaps and basically just gives the beat a lot more bounce. So this is the pattern that we have so far. Ooh, it's sounding hard, it's sounding real bouncy and what we're going to do now, I'm just going to get straight into the 808. Okay. Hey, that is sounding too sick. What we're going to do now, I'm going to grab in a kick and we're going to make the 808 punch a little bit harder. Hey, that is so 
morning, jumpy. What we're going to do now, I'm going to right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to rearrange this into a full beat. So I've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I've got a few different effects out of my kits just to give certain areas of the beat a little bit more transition. And we've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well. This just stops the beat getting too repetitive throughout. And lastly, we've got my tag in there too. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen. Ooh, nice little breakdown and then straight back in This one is sounding too fire. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at SevereProd to keep up date with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.